What's up everyone, it's Leon here from Guinness Cork Jazz. We're filming for FTC TV today. I'm with a legend in the Irish scene, Stevie G. Stevie, how are you? Oh, thanks a million, man. It's good to be on. Uh, great, welcome to Cork. Buzzing, it's the Guinness Cork Jazz Festival. And uh, yeah, let's, ha let's have it. Brilliant, brilliant. Tell us what's, what's happening here today. Okay, so we are doing, myself and Choice Cuts, uh, Mark Murphy, are doing something called Evolution. We're celebrating the evolution, 50 years of hip hop, 45 years of the jazz festival, but we're celebrating uh, our journey uh, through hip hop, but through a jazz lens. Uh, there's massive connections. It all came from jazz and the blues and soul. So we're kind of celebrating that with record covers on the wall. We got activity, DJs, break dancers, talks. We're just trying to highlight the culture, a bit like what you guys are doing all the time. So yeah, brilliant. No, that's absolutely excellent. And um, you're huge in the Irish music scene. Um, and we have the Black and Irish Gala Awards powered by RTE coming up on December 2nd. I want to hear, hear from you, what Black and Irish Cork artists are you seeing coming up at the moment that people should be aware of? Oh, it's a good time. I mean, there's so many great young artists. So I'm working closely with Abby Lee and Alicia. Alicia Olanaran, a brilliant artist from Nigerian descent, doing some big things on the more jazzy soul tip. Uh, Abby Lee just dropped her first single, it's called Circles. She's like almost like in that Amy Winehouse zone. Amazing. Dash of reggae in there as well, a bit like Holly Cook. So check out the two of them. There's a group called Projective. Uh, they're kind of a multicultural band, but there's a singer, Diamond, in there. And she's already playing with Negro and Pacto, who are one of my favorite groups anyway. She plays trumpet with them. Brilliant. She sings, she raps. Come here. Carcass popping. There's guys as well. They're all the girls. There's only a few of them that I mentioned, but there's some great guys. There's a lot of uh, good drill happening. Yeah. Um, there's people like Bola G uh, popping. There's Breezy. He's got that Afro swing kind of vibe. But his new single Attention is coming out. But uh, Cork is popping. We've got a bit of a catch up because Ireland is so good with uh, Black and Irish artists at yeah. the moment. And some of the artists, the infrastructure isn't as developed in Cork. There's not as many managers and right. whatever. But there's the talent is here and um, Cork is is gonna pop off. So yeah, there's some great great artists. Absolutely, and this this might be a, a, a real obvious question. Um, and I, I spoke to you briefly about it last year, but how important is it that all of these different kind of microcosms of music, like Cork and Limerick and Dublin, are connecting with each other and working with each other? How important is that to you? Absolutely, it's all about the community. I mean, I grew up in a DJ scene in the 90s where it was community driven, pre-internet, where we used to get to know each other in different towns and go to each other's towns and DJ and do gigs. And a music community, it's like an online community. It's very important to just keep the connectivity. We're a small island and we've always known we're not like a powerful music industry like the States or the UK, but we, and it's happened in the last five years due to people like you guys and other people, there's media now covering stuff. There's songs getting on the radio. There's festivals booking artists. It's important for us all to, and I think that's happening. Like there's very rarely beefs in yeah. Ireland. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're important. all, you know, uh, that whole thing about the ships rising together. So we're all celebrating each other, working and helping each other. And uh, hopefully things will move. 100%. Well, look, Stevie, thank you so much, for not, 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 not just for you know this interview, but for everything that you do. You're an absolute legend. Really appreciate it, and have a great weekend. Right back at you, and looking forward to the awards.